Hi, Sandra here from Create in Spain. Today I'm going to show you how to make your own, um, just shrinking that down, sorry, uh, how to make your own stamp sized mat. Now, if you go to the page settings under the mats here, you have a, a whole list, and generally I'm using a 12 by 12 mat. I very seldom use anything else, but there is a reason why I would like to use this particular mat. This mat is six by seven and a half inches. At least this bit is six by seven and a half inches. The mat obviously is bigger, but the cutting area is six by seven and a half. And how often do you have little bits of card, little bits of paper where you want to cut out small things but lining it up is a bit of a faff. Okay, so this is the way round it. My disclaimer here, I bought a second-hand Silhouette Cameo, so I didn't have a warranty on it, and I'm not going to avoid a warranty. I make my own mats, I use my mats quite happily, and as long as I pick a material that is similar to a Silhouette mat in thickness, it's not textured, I'm quite happy, and for the most part, it's pretty good. The only reason I would use the genuine mats myself is for a very accurate print and cut because if you have a mat which is slightly different in texture maybe the feed is a little bit different in speed and your lines may not quite match up but I haven't done my machine any harm so far and I've had it for over a year it's working quite happily thank you very much and it's enabled me to have mats where I probably wouldn't have had new mats Anyhow, to copy this one is really, really simple. Go to the rounded rectangle and draw a rectangle and make it, I'm not going to bother being accurate at the moment, but oh, it's pretty accurate. Make it the same size as that. Do a straight edge rectangle and make it the same size. Ta -da, like so. Okay, select all of, oh, actually, before I do that, I want to do another thing. I want to take this out of one and duplicate it. There's a reason for that. Okay, now I want to take this and group them together. And then I'm going to open up a new page. I'm going to put my normal um, A4. Let me see, where is it? A4 paper in. I'm going to change my mat to whatever mat I happen to want to use, which, as I said, is generally the straightforward Cameo 12x12. 12 12. Here we go. Now, go back to my other one. This piece here needs to be cut out in acetate. That's basically clear plastic to you and I. doesn't really matter other than that. It's to keep your scanner bed clean. Okay, and it's important. You do not want sticky stuff over your scanner bed. Right, now this I'm just going to copy and paste. And all I'm going to do is set up my Cameo with a sketch pen. In my case, I'm going to use a permanent marker. I have a pen holder and I put a permanent marker in my pen holder and I'm just going to draw it. And I'm going to draw it to cut it out because this stuff is quite thick and the Cameo doesn't cut it. You just cut it out of the pair of scissors, but at least hell, I can get it to draw it accurately for me and just use a pair of scissors to cut the outside line. No great hardship. This side here, when it's cut, I'm going to put an arrow to tell me which side needs to go into the machine. And then when I've got it cut, what I'm going to do is put scraps of paper onto it and I'm going to then put it into my scanner and scan it. Now this is where the uh, acetate comes in or the plastic. You want to put that over the whole thing to protect your scanner. Okay. You can make this sticky if you wish or you can do what I tend to do and that spray the back of whatever it is I want to cut. I just spray it with a temporary adhesive and then just put it onto the mat. So that then goes to the scanner. So the next thing I need to do is show you my 
particular scanner. I've just bought myself a Canon MG3550 and if I go to um, da, 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 applications here, I go to Canon Utilities, Scan Utility, get this up and this is what gives me this window here. So I'm just going to close that down. Now I've got mine set up. If you've got the same sort of scanner, auto scan, I've set to open with applications so it's going to open in Silhouette Studio. So all I've done is I've put a piece of card, a leftover remnant of card, on the piece of um, plastic that I've, I've just cut out, my new mat. I've put it in the scanner at the edge as it's supposed to be and all I'm going to do is click auto and click OK there and it's going to search for my scanner. Now my scanner is on a wireless system, it's great, I can scan from my iPad or scan from anywhere else, but even though it is a brand new Canon scanner, and it has supposedly um, got um, Twain drivers that work with a Mac and I'm operating Mavericks and so on and so forth. The Silhouette software doesn't recognize my scanner. So this is how I get my scan into the program. The chances are that you have a scanner and you can scan directly from the program. I can't, so this is my way of doing it. Instead of going to the desktop, I'm going to scan it directly into the software and it will open up the Silhouette Studio page for me. It does take a few seconds to do it, mind you. So while it click, click, and where's, where's away, here we go. And there we are, so I just click Import. Now I want to rotate that so it's in the same direction. So I want like that. I'm just going to copy it and I'm going to paste it onto here, for example, because this is the mat I would normally be using. And then all you need to do to actually use it is to line it up with the marks which are on the mat itself. You can't on this one select it and go to centre to page because this mat has got a narrower margin on one side than the other. So you can't do that, it doesn't work. But you can use your arrow keys to get it in the right place or just use your mouse. And no, that needs to go over a little bit. Think. Okay. Now it may not be 100% accurate, but it's close enough. So you can actually cut things out. You can do your uh, drawing or your script or whatever it is, and you can put it on here. And then all you need to do when you send it to the silhouette is make sure you've got the correct mat selected, which is the stamp mat and feed it in that way as opposed to feeding it in that way. And then you can cut your things out. Okay, I hope you found this useful and uh, happy cutting. Bye bye.